Bennett Sullivan here for the Banjo Studio. Today I'm going to teach you a lesson on rhythm guitar. If you've never played bluegrass rhythm guitar, this is a great place to start. First thing we're going to look at is the left hand. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put the bluegrass G chord on there. And the bluegrass G chord omits the third of the chord. It sounds like this. So there's no third, which means it's not really a major chord, not really a minor chord. It's kind of this open sounding roots and fifth chord. And what you're going to do is you're putting your fingers on the third fret. Your pinky's going to go on the bottom on the first string. Your ring finger's going to go onto the second string, third fret. And then your middle finger's going to go on the sixth string, third fret. And what you're going to do with your middle finger is you're going to mute that A string, that, that fifth string. So you, that's what you're going to hear. So when you, you strum through, you're not hearing that A at all, as opposed to this. You know, that's a very obvious, happy kind of sounding uh, chord. But what we're going to do is we're going to omit that third and keep it as open sounding as possible. What I'm doing for my strumming hand is I'm keeping it relaxed. I mean, that's the most important thing. And I'm keeping it in a kind of like a ball position as if I was holding a small like rubber ball or something. Um, and my pick is in my between my index and my thumb and it's in a relaxed position. Um, I'm not holding it super tight because that creates tension. Um, I'm keeping it in my hand pretty much um, as tight enough so I don't drop it. So when you strum through, it should sound like that. You should hear all those notes ringing out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an alternating bass pattern with a strum in between. So it's gonna sound like this. Just like that. And so the alternating bass that I'm doing with this G chord is just a G note, the low the sixth string, and then the fourth string. So it's just G, D, G, D. So you can just practice that. practice going between those two and watch my right hand as I'm as I'm doing this I'm kind of like moving through the string I'm not just stopping my hand like that I'm letting my hand go through the string kind of using the weight of my hand to go through the string you can put the metronome on you can put the metronome on and practice that once you feel good about that, keep your G chord on just where it is. And what you're going to do is you're going to do a strum in between. And the strum is going to be the bottom four strings. So you're going to go. Like that. And that's the basic bluegrass strum pattern. So practice that with the metronome, get that feeling comfortable, and then check out the next lesson where I'm gonna show you how to transition to a D chord or the five chord in the key of G using a bass run. And we're also gonna talk about how to spice up your right hand playing a little bit with some 16th notes. Thanks for watching. My name's Bennett Sullivan with the Banjo Studio, and I'll see you on the next lesson.